hello everyone so we will continue the topic that how to create a program using local classes in the previous video we learned how to declare the things using class definition now we will write the logic we all know whenever we want to write the logic we can write by using class implementation by using class implementation so how to write i will write class what is my class name class 1 implementation end class now just we will go for sc24 and we will recall the steps this is our sc24 after that what you did you simply clicked on the source code button and you wrote the logic same now we have to do how to write the logic method method name and method same what is our method name method what is the method method is display and end method we declared a method method has one importing and four exporting parameters now we are writing the logic in the method now same to same logic we will write here whatever you did in sc24 we are doing the same thing but everything is local to this program yes now we will write the query select p e e select e r dat e r z e t e r num v b type from which table v b a k table into i will pass the name of the four exporting variables p e r dat p e r num p v b p e r z e t t p e r num p v b type where v b e l n is equal to p v b e l n so i will check the syntax now okay i will write select single because i am fetching single record done so in this particular program so far what we learnt how to define the things using class definition how to write the code in that method using class implementation if you are clear what you did in sc24 it will be very easy to replicate the same thing in terms of coding yes now we declared the method we wrote the logic in that method now the next important thing is we have to call this method we have to call this method if you remember whenever you did the previous thing at that time also you called the method inside a program if you remember whenever we created the if i will show you the previous program 
which we created we called the global class method inside a program but now our next thing is how to call this particular method how to call this method so we will do the same thing i will write start of selection you all know whenever you are clicking on to this execute button execute button at that time start of selection is calling now we will call this method display in which we wrote the logic in the previous video we covered if you are using a methods word the method is a instance method if i want to call a instance method i can always always call with the help of object yes so i will declare the object type ref2 what is my class name in this program class 1 and it is a local class you cannot reuse in any other program but in the previous example what we did when we declared the object that was our global class that was our global class now we have a local class itself class 1 as it is a instance method so we have to create the object how to create the object create object object name now we will call our instance method how to call object hyphen arrow and what is our method display we already put so much stress this is the operator to call a instance method and equal to and hyphen is the operator to call a static method as of now it is a instance method so we used hyphen hyphen and arrow now we will call our method display we we'll know very clearly whenever we are calling all will interchange this import will convert to export and this export will convert to import same to same thing you did previously also you are importing convert to exporting and you are exporting convert to importing the same thing we will do here exporting pvbeln and this program this program will pass the input to this parameter now those four import exporting will convert to importing per dat is equal to lv underscore er dat per zdt is equal to lv underscore er zdt per num is equal to lv underscore er num pvb type is equal to lv underscore pvb i will declare these four variables lv underscore er dat lv underscore er num lv underscore er zdt and lv underscore vb type
okay for vb type it's vb type underscore l if i'll check that table it is vb typl i will just change this i will check the syntax e r z e t so in this video we learned how to write the logic using class implementation and how to call that method the rest we will continue in the next video thank you